Aries, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We're going to be pulling a final message from your angel. Aries, you're taking yourself way too seriously, okay? This game of life is, if, if we're not in a joyful, fun state, uh, we're not going to be receiving the uh, degree of um, abundance, clarity, just an overall sense of knowing that is available to us, right? And so whether you're creating businesses or losing weight or rewiring your programming, whatever it may be, right? Always know that when we experience polarity, so when we experience contrast, so when we are going through challenging moments of life, we want you to start reprogramming your thought process around these challenging moments instead of like, oh, this sucks. I'm not doing it right. I'm getting it wrong. Uh, what's the point? Like instead of going into that lower frequency, what we want you to do is remind yourself, I'm so grateful for this contrast I'm experiencing because it's leading me into significant soul expansion and I am learning life lessons. Now that was a mouthful. So you can repro you can reword that for your own liking, but it's grateful for the contrast, learning something out of this, right? Grateful and learning because then your energy will remain open. Okay. But right now we feel like you're overthinking and this overthinking, overthinking your ideas all you have to do, okay, and if you find yourself overthinking, thinking, 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 it means you have to drop and tune into your heart or your intuition. So stop thinking and start listening is what that is. Start listening and the universe will guide you, beautiful soul. You got to trust the process and you got to trust what your heart says. And if you are just thinking, 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 put your hand over your heart. What does your heart say? Put your hand over your head. What does your head say? Your head will give you the contrast of your heart and your heart is right every single time, okay? So as you go through this life and as you are building new skills and, and creating new awarenesses in your life, let this be a go with the flow action. Because right now we can see that any new skill that you're building or any new uh, journey that you're on, whether this is learning something new, developing your spiritual gifts, starting a business, right? In, um, in, a, in a romantic relationship, either way, if you are not connected to your heart, then you will be overthinking, you will be overdoing it, you will be way too serious and your heart will be closed off, right? It's like if, you're, if your heart is closed off and you're in a relationship, what happens is you start thinking about what the best thing to say is, where to take them, what to do with them and how serious is that, right? It's like, oh, this is so like a job or like you have to do it or like it's so like serious. So instead, open your heart, tune into what your heart is saying. What would be fun? What would be fun? Ooh, what would I, where would I like to take this person? What would, what would make them laugh right now? What, what is it? You know what I mean? How, how do you, can you just be open? You know, openness and fun energy always brings in the, the best option. The only reason why we don't have any fun is because we are so focused on the lack in our life or what's going on in our life. And we keep regurgitating the same negative thinking over and over. Oh, I just want this to be different. I want this to be different. I wish my spouse was like this. I wish my lover was like this. I wish that I had one. I wish that my money was 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 larger. You know, I wish that I had more uh, a, a stronger purpose. You know, all these like wishes and desires, but from this place of void, as if you don't have them. You already do. You already do. You just have to align with them, and alignment with them means that you gotta let go of the thinking and have fun and start tuning into your heart. And if you don't even know what that feels like, then let that be your day-to-day -day practice, right? Let that be where you start. Because if you don't know how to listen to your intuition and tune into it, good luck, right? So let that be the first thing that you focus on. And whatever you want to, whatever you desire most or whatever is going to be most beneficial in your life, prioritize that in the beginning of the day. So you do it and then it's done, right? So have that morning routine, get outside in nature, cleanse your energy, move your body, cleanse that energy, right? Meditate, journal, reflect, write down what you're grateful for, right? Start to reprogram your subconscious because what we can see here is that you're being guided to a time of great st stability, significant celebration, communication, community, reunion with your loved ones, reunion with siblings, reunion with all, but all beings, but ultimately a time of great celebration and an event of some kind. So if you're in a relationship, for instance, this feels like marriage to me, three of cups and four of wands. That feels like longevity, stability, right? 
if you're building a relate, uh, excuse me, a business, it's going to end in celebration, stability, right? A, a long-term love affair with your business, right? This is going to be something that is going to be very sustainable for you. But again, your, what journey you're on right now is leading you to this. So just to keep tuning into your intuition because your intuition will guide you every step of the way, right? Yes, you feel vulnerable because vulnerability is part of the process of expansion because we don't know where we're going, right? We can validate for you that where you're headed is stability and celebration. But if we don't really know that or feel that, it's like, we're like, okay, that's good. That's good. That's good, right? Okay, still celebration, stability. But then we're going to forget it in like an hour, right? When our vibes get lower and something shows up in our outer world and it's full of challenges and adversity and 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 polarity and contrast and we forget that we know we're going to end up okay that everything's fine and that universe is guiding us why we forget because it's not a conditioned program i wish this was something that was instilled when we were like growing up you know that would be great but it wasn't hopefully now with this generation you know more awareness and more fifth dimension consciousness the the little ones are going to be you know uh this have this awareness right well that'll be really a good life that'd be fun um but for most of us we didn't have that conditioning right so when we we feel that lower frequency immediately we attach to things with that same frequency so when our vibes get lower we feel low and then we think badly about ourselves we connect to our, our past um, limiting beliefs we start to like remind ourselves of how we're not where we're supposed to be in life, right? And it's only because of our frequency, right? So we want you to clear that all away, right? And we, again, we want you to have more of a beginner state of mind now. And we want you to look at your life a little bit differently. We want to remind you that every time you look at co contrast in your life at, as, as, as a form of expansion, then you're going to start to look at challenges in your life much differently. You're going to start to look at them as an opportunity to grow, like you're in training ground, like you're like, oh, Oh, I'm here for a reason. I'm not experiencing this because I suck and I'm a failure at life. I'm experiencing this because this is my form of expansion. Like this is what's going to take me to the next level, you see? So it's not about staying in that challenge or that energy of a challenge. It's about looking at it and then pivoting pivoting to what does feel open, pivoting to what does feel fun, pivoting and learning from that experience. And then when you, when you have the energy of learning and openness, that's when you're going to have brilliant new ideas and clarity. And that clarity is then going to feel so good for you that you can move forward on it, right? Or with it. Right. So it's really just about not letting the, the, the negative vibes get you down, Aries. And it's just about pivoting away from them. OK, well, you know what? I'm in a low frequency right now. I can feel I'm in a low frequency. I choose to let this energy go. I choose love. Spirit's guiding me. I got nothing to worry about. All I got to do is get my vibes in a high state. What would that be for me right now? Right. Speak to yourself. Talk out loud. But don't allow your frequency to stay in that low state. Right. And again, letting go is always the key. <laughs> letting go is always the key because it's usually what we're holding on to that keeps us there, holding on to our beliefs holding on to the fact that things aren't where they want them to be we want them to be holding on to all this energy want to let that go let that go and just focus on what feels good for you right again it's like think of like if things are bad if things you feel like are wrong in your life and you're focusing on them you're holding on to that energy but when you focus on what does feel good you slowly start to let go of the what's wrong and you're focusing on the what's right and then things feel reciprocated and balanced because you've let go of the negative and you've and you've drawn in and you've connected to the good right get connected to the love and that's all we want for you right now it's just you're on the right track keep going says that seven of pentacles you're on your way you're on your way baby so don't you worry about a thing aries don't you worry about a thing universe has got your back right they got your six don't worry about it all you have to do right now is connect to your intuition and keep Keep going and just focus on the areas of life that keep you in a high uh, frequency state. And that's why we want you to explore your life and explore what that is for you. And as you as you go through the experiences, what leaves you in a high vibe state is going to change over time because you're going to experience more. So what lift, used to leave me in a high vibe state was looking up puppies and dogs, right? Playing this game with myself. Like if I could choose one, which one would I choose? Right. And then I would look at all the dogs and puppies, right? This is a game I used to play with myself years ago. And as I've expanded on my journey, I, I, I don't usually gravitate to that anymore. I love dogs and puppies. I just don't choose that as part of my um, high vibe state right now. I'll usually meditate or I'll automatic write, or I will learn something 
something or I'll go for a walk or I'll exercise, you know, it'll be something different. So just recognize where you are in your life right now and what leaves you feeling high vibe and, or just high vibe or more high vibe than where you are. And that will, that will eventually grow. Right. So, and that's all it is right now. Just prioritize that. Now your angels are coming forward with the message of child. Oh my goodness. Child today. And they are saying to you, you care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. So beautiful soul, your inner child, again, when you're too serious, it's your wounds coming forward. Your inner child is uncomfortable, right? Have fun. Uh, welcome, uh, you know, one thing you can do is you can visualize your today self going and meeting your, your child self from seven to 14, right? Connect with that part of your life, connect with who you were at that time in your life and visualize this, have a meditation with this, where you connect with them and you sit with them and you let them know, I got you. Everything's going to be okay, right? Everything's going to be okay. Soothe your inner child. That'd be a really good visualization technique. And then another one you could do is visualize your older self coming and speaking to your today self and also saying, it's going to be okay. I got you. Everything's going to work out. Okay. Right. This would be a nice uh, visualization practice for yourself so that you can soothe your inner child, soothe yourself and always know you're taken care of on this journey of life and that all things that you desire will show up for you. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like share and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.